So the issue then is how many chargers are out there relative to how many EVs are out there and Mm -hmm. is there a gap, right? So I think that uh, as the number of EVs that come on the road is going to increase substantially, whether it's mandates or consumer preference, uh, there's going to be more charging coming. Uh, the challenge really is on the public charging side, I would say, that that uh, the, to put a, a standalone public charging thing is expensive. Right. Because often it's DC fast charging, costs fifty to $100,000 a charger to put this in. And you also happen to pay uh, demand charges for the electrical utility, which is expensive. It's a very high cost alternative. So we need a lot more about home or commercial charging out there, workplace charging, than we have today. And it has to increase by tens of thousands of chargers to, to match the growth in the number of EV go, EVs on the road. Mm-hmm. And there's a gap in that today. No question about that. Yeah. So you can see. So if there's an incentive for any public or commercial building to start setting up chargers, um, obviously it's just going to increase the amount of chargers that are available chargers that are out there which is the biggest question right um and it can also be somewhat uh, i guess of a, of a revenue source i mean in some ways it's maybe like the d- democratization of the transportation refueling infrastructure um it's no longer just the purvy of large oil companies but it's it's anyone with a charger right 